Hello and welcome again to my channel. I am Ayobola Adibowali, your baby's doctor. And today I'm going to give you gist. Okay, no, okay. I'm going to start <laughs> by giving you gist, okay, so that I can drive us to the point. So about three months ago, I gave my tailor uh, a lace fabric to actually make for me. I had given her the style and I gave her the fabric. And I told her that I was going to use the fabric after like a month. You know, you have to give them an early deadline so that they can finish your work. Okay, so I had told her something like that. But anyway, this story actually is not about how my tailor disappointed because you know that of course they would always they would always disappoint or well mostly disappoint. All right, so this story is about when I actually went to collect my outfit and it had uh, some problems and then she needed to solve it. So while waiting, I looked at her. I think the child is about three months old then. So I looked at the child and I was like, man, your baby is black oh. Yes, I like imagine me saying someone is black. I'm actually dark complexion. So saying someone is actually black, I'm a child of actually black. <laughs> Alright, so I said, ah, this your baby is black, oh man, at this age, three months. Oh wow, nice. Anyway, it's good. I know I was still trying to tell her it's good, it's nice. And then she went there to tell me that ah, that some people had even advised her to bleach at three months old. Now, this is what this video is about. You're talking about bleaching in children. And I have read articles of people saying it's good to bleach them young, you know, start early so that by the time they are grown, they'll have this flawless body with the complexion you want them to have. So this video today is about bleaching and uh, I'm not a fan. <laughs> so I'll see you soon. All right, welcome back. So before I go into the full details of this video, I'll try not to make it as long. I'll try not to rant. I'll try not to get angry. I'll just go straight to the point. I'm going to put out the facts and then I'm going to place in front of you life or otherwise and then advise you to choose life. All right, but before we go ahead in this video, I'll, uh, I would like to implore you to please like my video because each time you actually like my video, uh, there are some algorithms on, um, on YouTube that would make uh, the video more accessible to people to so like subscribe you know we are trying to hit the target 1000 to start with so please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any video that i post all right so bleaching now a lot of people bleach for different reasons uh well according to the uh world health organization there is no known exactly known benefits like that of bleaching although for some skin diseases for some post treatment um reasons some people can actually be prescribed some bleaching um agents for a period of time under monitoring but uh it is there has actually been no benefit and you know that what makes your body or your skin dark is actually melanin and um we blacks africans we're actually blessed with abundance of melanocytes those are the cells that actually produce melanin i was even very happy a while back when we were seeing pictures of melanin popping and i was like oh okay does this mean that we're actually winning the war against bleaching but it looks like uh i can't <laughs> i can't exactly say that okay so bleaching is when you apply anything in form of cream soap even pills to change your skin color so to uh, increase the tone of your screen of your skin hmm, to increase the tone of your skin or to increase your complexion or to change your complexion from dark to lighter so that is what bleaching is so for you to actually bleach you need some bleaching agents you have some substances that have been known to actually either reduce the production of melanocytes those are the cells that produce melanin or destroy these cells each of the any of these processes is actually not good for your health, for your skin health, and for your body, your systems generally. So uh, I'm going to be talking about some of these substances. I'm going to talk about three of them, or yeah, three of them that are quite harmful. Some of them have been banned in some countries, although some people still put them in, you know, your soaps and your creams, and then they change the name, they put other names. So those other names, I'm going to put them in the description box below so that we will not make this video long. I'm going to put this in the description box below so that you can actually check out what those other names are. So that anytime you're buying your soaps, your creams and all that, you can always check, always read, read the ingredients, please. And anyone you are not sure of, that is why we have the internet. 
just look at the uh look at look out look for the name online and check what it is you'll be surprised that it's actually mercury or hydroquinone so we're talking about hydroquinone mercury and um steroids i think i'm just going to talk about those three uh, those are the ones that are very very harmful to the body there are some other ones that are actually using bleaching agents and those are the agents that your dermatologist might prescribe for some skin uh, conditions okay so let's talk about mercury mercury is uh, a heavy metal and um it is actually very dangerous for your health when you have contact with mercury one is that it can be uh, it can be absorbed even through the skin it can be absorbed through the skin and it has a very terrible effect on the kidneys it can cause what we call uh, what we call the nephrotic syndrome in which your kidney will start um, losing a lot of um, protein okay and then the child comes swollen everywhere is swollen and it can also cause even chronic uh, kidney kidney failure chronic and acute uh, kidney failure so that's one of the things that uh, mercury can cause apart from like i said uh, skin irritation it can also even cause some neurologic disorders it can become irritable you can have some problems with your nerves so really mercury is actually very dangerous and should be avoided as much as possible you know we even have some medical equipment that have mercury you used to see when a mercury thermometer breaks the way people just jump up and everybody is avoiding to have uh, mercury on their skin or to have contact with mercury so please why would you want to have such rubbed on your skin daily and regularly you have, you know at this point i can boldly tell you that your kidneys would not thank you for that so please avoid any mercury containing cream and soap so hydroquinone is another agent that uh, is actually used for bleaching and for this one the effect it has on anybody i'm not you know i'm even talking generally now then i will now cone it down to children the effect hydroquinone has on anybody is that number one it can increase the aging of your skin so before you know it someone becomes you know you look older your skin has lost its elasticity you have wrinkles everywhere it can also impair wound healing so this means that when you have a wound it will take time in fact i remember a particular woman before I started residency, she had a wound from a bike accident. And you know, to stitch the wound was a problem because the wound, in, uh, the, the, the skin integrity was lost. So if you time you try to bite the wound with your needle, it cuts off. So please, these are things that actually uh, are not good for your skin's health, you know, and we should try as much as possible to avoid these things. The third one is steroids. So a lot of bleaching agents actually have steroids in them and we know that steroids once it gets to a particular level it's not good okay and one of the things that steroid actually does to your skin is that it thins the skin so it makes it very thin and it can even cause mm -hmm, let me tell you it can even cause um try that's your stretch mark yes so when you use uh, steroids for a prolonged period of time that actually cause uh, stretch marks and of course you know that steroid uh, reduces immunity so when you use it over a period of time it can actually predispose someone to having a fungal infection so you know and there are a lot of things too that um, you can have from all these bleaching agents you know like allergic reactions you can have very bad allergic reactions some of them will even change your skin color you start having I think that's hydroquinone you start having this red, uh, blackish bluish discoloration of your skin and then you now have to start dealing with that again so please all these agents are not good for your health so please there's no point i mean melanin is beautiful melanin is actually very 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 beautiful so please avoid all these things you know they can give you problems in your kidney do you know how much dialysis costs these days for you to have dialysis in a week you spend over a hundred thousand naira in nigeria of course you know <laughs> and you know if you have to be spending that amount of money every week and then that's for someone that does not even need renal transplant renal transplant is another story entirely so please avoid 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 bleaching your skin now let's talk about children i've always said it i think in a video that i made a while back about alcohol i said that anything that happens in adults is actually exaggerated in children for children their skin is already thin and they have a larger surface area so they can even absorb 
all those substances more easily than an adult would so it will cause more you know more if more uh, adverse effects on them on their kidneys and these things also predispose you to skin cancer so you can imagine exposing your children to all those things to kidney issues to skin cancer to irritable skin poor wound healing and all those too early that is actually actually not good for anybody talkless of children so please it is not even an option for you to think about bleaching your child i mean I, i'm not going to i'm not going to talk about you too much i've already said it in the course of the video that you should not you should avoid bleaching your skin except when medically indicated but please do not even attempt to bleach your child's skin let your child grow you know you can actually make your child understand that your skin color is actually very beautiful you have a very beautiful skin you reassure them you give them you know the best assurance you're beautiful you're smart your skin is beautiful your skin is flawless and you know they will grow up with that mentality but the moment you start tampering with their complexion just because you want your child to be a little bit lighter and all that then you're beginning to sow into problems for their future so please avoid bleaching agents in your children i mean three months old someone was actually advising a mother of a three month old to bleach a child please this should not even come up in conversations so please as much as possible in fact what am i saying it's not as much as possible avoid using bleaching agents be it a cream uh soap peels they call it different names you know toning and all that avoid it avoid it in all its entire entirety so please avoid 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 bleaching agents in your children if your child has any skin problem and you're bothered about it please see a pediatric dermatologist and they will do what is right please avoid bleaching your children so with this viewpoint of mine i hope i'll be able to convince you and i'll confuse you that bleaching your child is not even an option so thank you so much for watching my video again today remember to subscribe to my channel we are trying to hit the target so subscribe to my channel like and share 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 so we can save all those kidneys you can save all those skins you can save people's lives from you know things that can be preventable i mean mercury skin cancer you know so let's just let's, let's do the work let's do the work of the lord let us share this video so that i can reach out to everybody Reach out to everyone in your group, in your, on your timeline, and until the message gets to the ends of the earth.